Welcome to an Origin of Energy farming clip. So I'm down here at the farm having fun and today we, um, we've done a lot. We actually came here yesterday and we stayed overnight with my dad and um, we, were, we did a lot of work with these beds up the end here and filled those out and then we've just got that one last bed to do and we mulched all of these and we put in a buckwheat and mung bean cover crop. Last week we did these top two and you can see here all the mung beans are already coming through but today I extended these beds out a bit further so that way I could get more out of the, um, the, the space we have because the swale didn't need to be that wide there. So I just, um, I've actually leveled the swale and been digging that out and extended these along which is really cool. So now we've got even more space and then um, I'll just say, take you through just a simple shoveling and lifting technique. I've, I've just um, I've only got a little bit more leveling to do here but from here all I've done is I've just been working along and I've only just been skimming off the top. But from here I'm just doing, as I come in, it's just like a high lunge, kicking it in, and then like lunging down and twisting and turning over. And this time I've got my hips facing facing forward, but my back leg is this leg, so I'm facing this way with my hips when I turn. So I'm doing it with my left foot and then coming over. So what I do is I do that side, 8 to 12 reps, and then I come to the other side. Now I'm going to kick in with my right foot, like this, down, kick it up, and come in that way. So that way I'm turning to that side. And then I've got the other side where I'm doing the backhand. So I'm kicking in with the left foot from here, kicking in, and then I'm turning back over that way. So that way I'm getting a balanced workout by doing both sides when I'm shoveling it in. So here I'm kicking the right foot again. But instead of facing the wheelbarrow, I'm facing away from it. So I'm turning back into the wheelbarrow that way. So that's what I did today. I've been doing that quite a lot. <laughs> so it's been kind of fun getting heaps done and shaping these out. So the next thing I want to show you is how we did the, the cover crop. And all we've got left now is actually buckwheat. But we did a mung bean and chickpea, which is what we've got up over there. And we've just used a, um, a bacteria that we've soaked them in. The buckwheat we do soak, we don't have a bacteria for it, but you can see it here. Take my gloves off. And it's only very small. Um, from here, this is a buckwheat that we eat. This is what we make our bread out of. But we soak it and sprout it. And we, we replicate what the soil does, which provides it that warm, moist, salty, slightly acidic environment. And um, what we're going to do here is just spread it over, over the top of this bed that I've extended. Just like that, just so it spreads out. When you do soak it first, so it gets pretty gooey, so they kind of stick together. But I'm just going to water this heavily after. So I'm just going to sprinkle it over, over the top. And then my next trick is to get our mulch and then cover it. So I can wipe my gloves back on. And the reason why we're putting it over is so that way it doesn't get dry it out if it doesn't get enough water. We've got our irrigation in but it's still um, still not completely 100%. We've still got to patch up a few things and um, put it together. We've got to get all our little pieces to um, get the drip system working properly. So we haven't got all our drippers yet. We'll get those next week. So we still don't have even pressure over the whole grid. So, um, but having the mulch on top allows it to um, stay moist. So from here I'll just grab a bucket and just the next pattern from here, just squatting down on the bucket and just doing a nice pull pattern with the mulch back into the bucket using both hands. One. over, place it on top, and then I'm just going to pile it up, so nice and messy, and then I'll just get those other two. So this is a good pull pattern, so 
So you really want to make sure that you uh, get your butt down. If you're doing this too much all day, you'll really hurt your back. So it's good to sit on the bucket and just pile it in. Shovel doesn't work too well when you're using the mulch. It tends to get stuck in it. So it's much easier just to grab big hunks with your hand, scoop it in. See all the mycelium through here, there's all fungi all the way through, which is great. So it's going to go straight into our soil, which is what we want. I'm just going to place that on top, spread that over, and then we'll water it in so that way. Put all that water over the top. So when I was digging out today, I found lots of charcoal, and that's obviously from where they've had bushfires before, or they've had fires here on the land. It used to be um, a potato farm. That's what Robertson's well known for. And you can see down here the terracotta. So where they've had fires and they've been burning, the clay that's in the soil has hardened into terracotta, which is really cool. So I was just digging through and I was, I was finding bits of that in the soil, so where they've had a fire. When we did the soil test, so we just filled this up with um, water after we just put in this much soil, and you leave it for a week, and you can see all the different layers. So the silt on the top, and you can see the clay, and then you're going down in towards your larger particles towards your gravel, and you can see the, um, the organic matter just kind of sits on the top. And that way you can work out what type of soil you've got. So we can see here there's quite a there's a bit of, bit of clay there, and there's not really like a harsh gravel, but there's larger bits there. But there's quite a bit of clay, and then some silt on the top, and then it's fairly acidic to the soil here. But it's that nice, beautiful red soil, which is awesome. Um, so we're having fun today, as always, and it's starting to come together, which is really good. So I'll show you one more thing, we'll just show you the buckwheat that we planted previously. So this is the buckwheat that we planted in this bed at the top. So you can see it's coming up nicely. And I think this was about, it would have been four weeks? I think three, no, three weeks, mm. this one. And you can see we've got all the chickpea on, on the bottom. Those ones we planted quite a while back and they're all flowering now. So they'll, they'll um, have all the legumes on those which we can collect and replant. So it's all coming together. But just know it is possible to put your energy into um, creating food so that, that way we can effectively harvest the sunlight and turn it into beautiful nutrition and just love our life. So see you next time. Ciao.